Let's check out how to make this glitch text here in After Effects. All right, let's go to the new composition, rename it as glitch. I gotta go with 1080p, two seconds, black background, click OK. Select the type tool, type in whatever you want. Press the letter S to scale it up. By the way, I went with the Humane semi bold font. It is totally for free. And I'm gonna align it perfectly to center and scale it more. Now I'm gonna zoom in and as you can see, we got the anchor point right here. Select the pen behind and select this anchor point and make sure to drag it right here into the corner. And in order to hit it perfectly, press and hold control so it's gonna snap it right here in these positions. So make sure to snap it into the corner. Now we're gonna go to the scale, click on the stopwatch and let's go ahead and unlink this. And I'm gonna bring this to the first second and make sure to decrease the horizontal value. So I'm gonna go all the way down to zero. I'm gonna type in zero. And if I bring this back, you can see that it is going to stretch out and stretch in. I'm gonna select both keyframes, press F9 to easy ease. And now I'm gonna select the text, press Control D to duplicate, press the letter U to highlight the keyframes and make sure to select the anchor point here and drag it into the opposite direction into the right side. Press and hold Control, make sure to snap it here into the corner. And from here, we're gonna go to the keyframes, select both keyframes at the top, right click. Let's go to keyframe assist. Let's go down to time reverse keyframes, click on it and let's hit play. And it's gonna go something like this. Select both text, right click, click on pre-comp. I'm gonna rename it as text, click okay. Right click here, go to new, select solid, click okay. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in a gradient ramp. Drag and drop on the solid and drag the solid under the text. And as you can see here, we got the gradient ramp options and you can uh, increase the values. So you're gonna lower the black area or decrease the white area. So it's gonna go a little bit more up. Now let's go and select the solid, right click, go to pre-comp, I'm gonna rename it as displacement. And make sure to select this move all attributes into the new composition, click OK. Now let's uncheck the displacement, let's select the solid, let's go to effects and presets and type in time displacement, drag and drop on the text and let's go up and here you can see the text and change it to the displacement layer that we created. Now if you go back, you can see this is how it is animating. Now I'm gonna go all the way to the start and you can see we got the max displacement time. If you start decreasing it, it is going to go back to normal. So we got like a more vertical animation. And if you increase it, it is going to stretch it more and become horizontal as much possible. Now this is really nice like this at 0.6, but if you bring it back, you can see it is not starting from a normal text. It is already distorted, which is not that nice. So what I got to do is go to the max displacement time. I got to decrease it to zero and I got to activate the stopwatch and I'm going to bring this to the first second and I'm going to increase it to 0.6. So I'm gonna go back, hit play, and it is starting from normal. Now, of course, if you want to modify these pixels, you can go to the time resolution, you can increase it. This way it's going to smoothen out or you can decrease it. I'm gonna go, for example, with 10 and it's gonna create huge pixels. For me, 60 is the sweet spot. And this is how I make this kinetic glitch here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.